Welcome back guys, what a great morning to talk about my military Arctic tent. I pitched it in March 2020 and it's still sitting here now in uh, October 221. It's been absolutely phenomenal piece of kit. It's seen me through the worst of the British weather. I think everything's been thrown at the tent and it's it's just kept me warm and dry and comfortable for all them conditions. So I thought it deserves a great shout out. It's been awesome, absolutely awesome. I'll show you around it now after a year and a half of, of usage and I have used it a fair bit as well. So let's have a look at it after a year and a, over a year and a half. It's all the seams. We're all still in great condition. All the stitching still intact. It's taken on a real waterproof weathering. So the weather's naturally waterproofed the canvas. I haven't put nothing on it at all. So it's waterproofed itself. All the guy lines still in great condition still support the tent really well the only thing I have done is put a bit of oil on the adjusters so I can't believe from the moment I pitched it it's still a great piece of kit and if you're after one and planning a base camp or a long-term shelter somewhere can't recommend it enough fly mesh a few little snags in it but That's been great, that's still in perfect condition. Though I put it up, I love the fly mesh on here because it's, it's so fine. Not that we get a lot of midges and bits and pieces, but a few insects are about, but it just stops them coming in. So it's great for midge infested regions. It'd be great in Scotland or, uh, you know, other countries. And all the door ties, Hold up the door, still fully operational. It's a bit damp at the moment because it's it's been a, a damp week really up here. But great, the door's still sound and such heavy quality canvas. And the zips are all in great working condition. YKK zippers <coughs> and that's all will it will do nothing with that. I fixed the liner in about eight months after I had it and that's just keeping the tent really warm. The liner with the with that trapped airspace over the winter, this will be its second winter now and it's uh, it's been really warm, really nice. But totally waterproof still, no leaks can't say enough about it really. Another great feature with this tent is the big opening of the door. I really like this, you can gain access and bring all your bits and pieces in and out. So I think it's really important in a tent to have a, a good access point. <clears throat> and what with the twin skinned, you can do a lot of configurations with the door, but awesome. So if you're looking for a tent like this, 10 man tent this is, it's, it's perfect room for one or two people over a long term camp out. It's been ideal. But like I said, the doors are awesome. You can have half door, fly mesh. Sometimes I just have the inner liner, this part of the door shut down. So you can like mix and match depending on the weather conditions. So inside, as you can see, it's a roomy space, plenty of height. And obviously with the liner, the inner liner, which is sold separately, it uh, sets off a nice white ambience and it's awesome in the winter for trapping heat. And that's, uh, that's done me proud in the winter and obviously this winter's coming up so 
it's going to do me proud again. One thing I would say, what I would have liked, or eventually, depends what you know how I decide what I want to do. I might put a floor in here. It definitely needs a floor, a wooden floor or something. It would be really nice. Keep all the the damp and the moisture out. And another thing I liked about this tent, it had a, a wood burner cut out with the protection, even in the inner skin. And it's a, a decent sized hole so you can get a, a large flue pipe for your wood burner. But when that's going, with the liner and the door shut, paradise. But as you can see, I've got quite a bit of kit in here. Sofa bed, unit with all my bits and pieces on. And that's what I mean about the door. You're just sitting in here doing something or you're laying in your bed and you've just got that great open door with great vision. So you can see what the elements are doing outside. But this tent just looks the part in the woods. Because of its great colour, it's just camouflaged. So if you're in an area where you want to do a bit of stealth camping or you want to hide yourself away somewhere, it does blend in and also at night when you've shut the doors down and you've got the lights on there's no light emitted from the tent because of the thickness of the canvas and the twin skinned so you can be in there with all your lights on and uh, there's no light radiating out of the tent it doesn't glow or nothing so perfect for them people that want to hide away somewhere so my overall verdict to this tent is if you want a large tent, reasonably priced and robust, then you get my double thumbs up. It's been, uh, it's been phenomenal staying in this and hopefully it will carry on for another few years and keep me out of the elements. It's just nice when you're camping and the weather is bad that you know you can rely on you know a decent tent there's nothing worse than buying something and you're planning on even doing a weekend and the tent lets you down it leaks or the poles snap it's a great feeling to put your security in into a, a tent you rely on but it's got a single pole construction so it's just one pole in the center and then the tent just pegs out. I think them systems are real strong and reliable. There's not a lot of uh, components to go wrong. But yeah, what more can I say? I've had some great times in the tent. Some phenomenal uh, camp outs for all weather conditions which I've enjoyed. There's something good. You know, last winter I wanted to come out and be as comfortable as possible in, in quite harsh conditions because our winters can be harsh and very damp and that tent has made it possible for me to do that and it's made it possible for me to build a camp around it so great military 10 man arctic tent bushwhacker man gives it two thumbs up any questions on the tent feel free to to leave them in the comments and uh, i'll answer them for you mm -hmm.